I'm Shay Russell for mining.com.au. And once again, I'm bringing the Managing Director of True North Copper, Bevan Jones, from site to you. Bevan, how are you? Uh, and where on site are you? Yeah, I'm great, Shay. Thanks for inviting me again. Um, I'm standing on the, the heap leach pad at, at our Concurry co um, Copper project. Um, yeah, so this is this is where we're, we're currently making copper. Um, and uh, it, it's it's great to be able to, to talk to you from here. It's awesome to get sort of a sneak peek into what happens behind the scenes at a copper mining project. While I've got you here, I wouldn't mind talking to you about an, one announcement that came out this week, uh, and that is you've recently removed a significant amount of overburden uh, and a significant amounts of oxide ore, and you pop them on the pad. Uh, tell me, how much closer to production does this get you? Yeah, look, I'm standing right here now on the on the, the ore that we've most recently mined. Um, we've trucked it in from from Wallace North. Uh, during this week, uh, we we laid out the irrigation pipes and have started irrigating this this pad here. So within a couple of days, we'll start to see breakthrough of the solution that we're using to do the irrigation. And so, look, the reality is is that you know within a few days we're actually going to see the first copper starting to go to the, the solvent extraction plan that um that is part of this, this restart that we've done at, at, at concurrent uh listen bevan while i've got you most uh retail investors aren't actually mining engineers tell me why are we irrigating rocks yeah that's a good question um the the rocks that the oxide ore that we're that, that we're actually standing on at the moment have um, copper uh, locked up in them, and the irrigation is with a solution that that's got uh, a weak acidic solution that will then percolate or permeate through the, through the piles and dissolve the copper, um, and we will then collect that that solution and take it to the solvent extraction plant and extract the copper and make the, the copper sulfide. All right, time to move on to some numbers. As the company moves into production, what kind of free cash flow can we expect over the life of the project based on current copper prices? Yeah, so we have a 4.6 uh, year mine life that, that under the current um, the current mine plan, um, and we're gonna see about a $200 million um, uh, free cash flow over, the, over that project. I guess it's, it's always it's always our uh, intention to, to improve that situation, um, but also to to increase the life of the project, which uh, our exploration teams are working on at the moment. Now, it is awesome to see mining and processing return to the Cloncurry Copper Project for True North Copper. Uh, but what else is the company working on uh, away in the background? Yeah, so look, look the, the team here is really, really focused on continuing to build these uh, heap leach pads and and to uh, to continue to to process this oxide ore, but you know like the, there's some other stuff that we're doing as well uh, within the copper Concurry copper project. We're about to restart uh, mining in the second um, uh, stage of our operation right here at Great Australia Mines next to Concurry, um, and at the same time we're also working on on the next steps in our exploration program. Uh, both at the Mount Oxide area and also in this near mine area to, to extend our mine life here. Uh, Bevan, thank you so much for being here today and taking time out while you're on site checking everything out. Also, Drew, thank you for taking everybody on the journey with you. It's not often we all get, a, get to see what actually happens on a mine site. It was great to have you. Thank you very much, Shay.